Hey, what's up, family? This is your boy, Bill, on the budget, back with another video. Um, still working on that C10. Got a whole lot done. Want to kind of show y'all a little bit of what I got done here. Y'all see, I got the paint, the frame painted in a lot of places. It's still a lot more that I got to do, but I was mainly concerned about it, where I got it painted at. It's a hot one out here today, and uh, I'm out here just trying to get a little work done, but it's almost time to go in for the day. Okay, listen. On these motor the, uh, rear cab mounts, they used to be uh, right here. Right in here. I had to move them back 12 inches and got hardened bolts in them. You got to move that mount backwards because you're actually moving the whole f the truck forward whenever you cut the frame and take 12 inches out, so you're moving the whole rear end section forward 12 inches, so you got to move the rear cow mount back 12 inches, and all I done was I just took a tape measure and stuck them on this bolt here, and I measured back 12 inches, and I got the height, and then I drilled the top two and then the bottom two lined up perfectly. So you got to you got to take that out after you cut this frame. You also got to take out, because it had a two-piece drive shaft, you got to take out that center burn bracket because it's gonna hit your ring. And it looks a little something like this. It actually come through like that. So you got to take that out in order for you to be able to put this this thing on there. Uh, as y'all can see, the one man show. Is almost on the way. Y'all see how I got that? And then I got the cab on some some rollers. See these round bars? That's gonna be my rollers once I get my boys in the position where I want them. I want to try to slide them up on the frame a little bit more. I got to put me some screws in that because uh, it keep popping up, but I need to go get me a screw and screw that down. But uh, she coming along pretty good. It's not going to be much longer before this cab is up on this truck. But that's the ingenuity that you have to do. I went ahead and took that brace out in the back. That's this one right here. Because it's a whole lot easier to get to when you're standing inside of the frame. And that will, uh, that's got to come out. So, I got a LS transmission mount order that should be here, uh, they say Saturday. I want to get this cab on so I can start looking at what I'm going to need to do to fix it. It's been a lengthy process. It's not that bad. But when you're working under the conditions I'm working under and you are out here in the sun doing it, 
it makes it just that much harder to get it done. But uh, hopefully the next video that I do, uh, y'all going to see the cab on the frame. And then it's going to go pretty quick because I can move it around once I get it back on there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I got going on. And hopefully, I get this thing done. And the next video I'll see, you'll see will be this cab uh, sitting down on the frame. So, to this next one, it's your bar built on the budget. Let me know what y'all think about that ingenuity. I'm trying to get her done, boys. To the next one, built on the budget. Saying it is hot out here.